9.15-ish, it's Saturday night. It's bit on the side, and that means it's chat show time. On the show tonight, currently developing the remake of Terry and June with June Sapon, it's Terry Christian. It's the man, it's the brown, it's Stuart Banks. The face that launched a thousand chips, it's Rusty Lee. Hang on, uh, that must be a mistake. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It's Natalie Cassidy! And now, ladies and gentlemen, please stand as porcelain skin meets potty mouth in the shape of Miss Alice Lovey! And thank you, Jean. A jacket that tells a thousand stories there. Yes, it's chat show time again. Uh, if you've not seen it, it's kind of an orgy of soft furnishings and housemate-related bile. Mmm, tasty. Uh, and what a week it's been. Uh, Denise displaying her spaniel ears in the hot tub made international news. I'm told 15 people took their own lives in a mass suicide somewhere in northern Chad. Our thoughts are with their families. It's not serious, you can laugh, it's not serious. <laughs> <laughs> but do you remember Brian's reaction to those happy sacks on Wednesday's eviction show? Do you remember? Yeah. Let's remind ourselves. Can I look now? Are you sure? It's really gone off the screen. You promise? Thanks, Richard. Well, at least Michael finally understands why it's called Loose Women. Oh, brilliant, of course, but that wasn't their first choice of line for Brian. Uh, no, we've unearthed five other reactions to her topless dip. So here are the top five reactions Brian almost had to Denise's bats. At number five, uh, can someone call my agent and tell him I want to go back to presenting the TV classic The Mint, please? <laughs> At number four, I never thought I'd hanker for Darren Lyon's chest. <laughs> <laughs> At number three, thank God they cut away when they did. I thought Natalie was going to be next. <laughs> boo! 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 Uh, in second place, isn't it about time to take down those Christmas balloons? <laughs> <laughs> Brian, has, Brian almost had to Denise, Denise's baps is... <laughs> but they didn't pick it. So that was the top five lines Brian almost said about Denise's bats. <laughs> If you're a regular old chatterbox like Romeo, uh, then you might want to share your thoughts with us tonight. And as always, your hair colour based cruelty is almost most welcome. Uh, outlets for such spite are on your screen right now. Uh, but remember, other hate, uh, another hate figure lies in wait tonight in a phone room sublet by Sweeney Todd. Jamie? Hello, oh, thank you, Alice. Yeah, That's yeah. right. Yes, it's open season tonight in my lovely little phone room. Uh, you can call me about anything in, that you like. Here we are, here we are. Are we uh, guys? Are we OK? Uh, you can, uh, so you can call me about anything that you like, but we've got three kind of things to get you started. Number one, are five do a be doing a better job than four? More a statement than a question? Uh, they are. Uh, number two, is this a fix? Lots of you saying that Big Brother has fixed last night's eviction. I'm interested to know actually how you've come to that conclusion and why we would fix it. Number three, should we be having a vote for save in the summer or should it be vote for evict? The number is uh, on the screen somewhere down there and I really want to hear from you. It's important, you know, we've only got two more of these left and I really want to get on your nerves a little bit. Little bit more. Back to you, Alice. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, apparently, Katie Price was only saying in an interview the other day how much she liked Jamie, and we all know what reliable taste she has in men. <laughs> so, uh, our sofa has barely felt such famous buttocks as tonight. Please welcome Natalie Cassidy, Terry Christian, and Stuart Baggs in that order. <laughs> so, uh, look at that. They're never that pleased to see people. Um, so, are we enjoying the show? Not anymore. <laughs> no, no. It's taken a, it's taken a definite there. downhill turn. Enjoy it now. <laughs> are you going to watch it? Oh, yeah, I'm watching. Who yeah. are you watching for? I'm just watching it. I've just <laughs> seen tonight's show and I'm fuming. Oh, it's fantastic. What are you fuming about? I'm just fuming at the twins. She's... I think they are the bitchiest, most horrible people. We are I've definitely going to come to that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I want to ask you though, Natalie, what are you doing here? I don't know. You no, I mean, I did invite you. No, yeah. I don't do uh, what am I doing here? Yeah. I, yeah, I'm here, aren't I? You know. But why didn't the, the public ke uh, save you? Why I don't know, because they still think they're voting, don't they, to get someone out. Are they confused? That's what I think we tell them doing. enough. We tell yeah. them enough. Um, were you guys... I, I, don't, I don't think anybody thought Natalie would go. You know, so she Definitely wasn't surprised. I, I thought, Kurt, God bless him. You know, even though both my lads could have uh, pointed out where America was and Africa was on a map when they were five. <laughs> Russia um, does kind of go round the back, oh, though, so it's kind of like it's confusing. Don't, don't is it? It frightens me <laughs> when I look at stuff like that. You know, um, imagine he's only 23, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, you know, Kirk, I think, was a bit too one dimensional. We'd seen everything he had to offer after about half a day, really. And, uh, you know, Georgia, God bless her. <laughs> no, Georgia... That was delayed. That was like, you are horrible. Stop Georgia, it. I'm not. I'm just... <laughs> no, as a viewer... Good, it's good. As a viewer... Look, when I turn the telly on, I'm inviting those sort of people in at my <laughs> living room. And I don't want, want anyone that dim in my living but room. But both, both Natalie <laughs> and Kurt got uh, massive cheers when they came out. So what's, oh, yeah. go, what's going on? If they got, if they got massive cheers, a why are they still thing. in there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it must be a How did I know thing. it was going to be a bash no, of no, the seriously, summer? Seriously, what do you seriously think? with that. You... But uh, with Georgia, when she went out, I, you know, I could understand because I was waiting for her to... Well, she's sort of content-free, isn't she? <laughs> sure, you know, I can, I can and, understand that. And Nicola's a bit the same. Um, Stuart, who do you think should have gone? Uh, well, I, I wouldn't like to say that you were the right person to go. Uh, uh, I don't know, but clearly... Michael's that will be the first complete... fight on that sofa. Look, it's the Please theme don't of the series. The, theory, the theme of the series is tits, so Michael's a massive tit and he's still in the house. <laughs> no, he's uh, brilliant, though, isn't he's he? He's not brilliant. He's an absolute idiot. Like, America has never exported anything oh, no. good. Ma no, let, hang on. Going in rubbish food, out. rubbish cars, rubbish people on there. Oh, no. They should Fantastic. stick to what they do good and start a legal The twins war. are so can hateable, I, I want to watch them. Can I pose a little theory? Natalie talked to Nicola about nomination. Was that a fatal mistake? Do people Possibly. do people get uh, sort of riled by people? Do they think it's kind of bitchy or any? It's kind of manipulative. Uh, Still feels wrong that people are allowed to talk about nominations. I don't think it's manipulative to talk about, just to but say. But do you think people what, could put, put, you know, perceive well, tonight, it that way? Well, tonight that's exactly what I've perceived because I've just <laughs> sat and watched everyone talking about it. I'm furious. There's a lot of so, yeah, there's a lot of scheming going on. There is. Uh, there well, is. let's have a look. At, Has uh, it always been like this? Whilst I've been in there. Uh, it's got. Yeah. I think it's got worse. It's definitely got worse. <laughs> but it's yeah. always been in there. It's amazing to watch it when you're not in there to see what's going Nicola's on. Nicola's got a lovely face, both of them. <laughs> Ooh, OK. Oh, wow. Well. Um, do you think that Nicola was a bad influence? <laughs> a bad influence on me? Mm. No, I can't see it. Everybody, you know, right, as you were watching, what do you no, think? I think she's good value for money in a way, Nicola, because what I like about her is even though, you know, she might be a really nice person, I'm sure she is, she never looks like she she means anything she says. She's a terrible says. person. Yeah, she's Why not she told her face person? what she's yeah, saying. Yeah, she's a bitch. It's, it's, Why is she a bitch? Weird. She hasn't like, even like been you, with her You don't house. like all the good ones. You hold don't... me back, hold me back. No, no she, Nicola's a no. massive bitch. Why? 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 Because, I need to know. I want like, reasons. That, because she just spends her whole time bitching about people in the house. But what about Michael? I have a game plan. Yeah, but everyone knows Michael's clearly mentally no, Well, yeah, but that's it. Insane. Like, he is like Robert De Niro in The Taxi Driver. He needs to be in a different type of house. <laughs> Travis, no, he needs to be in a mental house. We're going to have brother has. way more of this later on. Uh, meltdown was the final word there. <laughs> uh, coming up, I will be snacking at Rusty Lee's Snatch again, and Jamie will be getting a mouthful from random strangers. Lovely, I can't wait. See you in a bit. <laughs> Girl. Oh, yes. Uh, welcome back to Big Brother's Bit on the Side, the chat show. Piecing together the week's events like a dyslexic Jack Russell locked in an abandoned Starbucks. Mine's a soy latte. Uh, Terry bags the brand and Natalie have been plied with yet more boxed wine in order to keep them here. And it's worked. There they are. Uh, now, it seems that Michael still has very little clue about how Big Brother actually works. But there are two other Yanks who think they have it down. Uh, they'll stop at nothing to win it. Take a look at this. I don't like being so close to Nicola, like, telling her and talking to her like that about nominations and all that. I don't feel comfortable doing that. Like you I do, because do, I want to keep her vote away from us. I know, but I don't... You when can do she... that by being nice, but you don't have to get into details with her like that. No, I, I told her that because of the simple fact that what exactly what she said. This is a game. On regular circumstances, I, I know, but I know girls. It doesn't matter. And she's being two-faced. I don't care. Ooh. Ooh. I actually can't talk, I'm fuming. 
I think you are actually I'm about to punch me. Honestly. Because I'm the closest girl. I'd love to go in there for five minutes. Oh, no. What would you do? Oh, I, would, I would wipe the floor with the two of them. I would annihilate them. I'm annihilate you. them. I would. I would annihilate them as well in an entirely different way. So, no, no fans, no fans on the sofa. Well, I, 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 I like them. He but loves I hate it. Them. He loves no, it. No, but I think they've been given too much leeway. I mean, the, yeah. the year I was in, you know, we, you know, we. But you don't or see that they're being clever, tell. No, Has everyone look, we've seen got great it. Tits. That's the you most know, pe people had big <laughs> enough. Their tits ain't even that great. Oh, people okay. had big <laughs> enough personalities. Do we you know what I mean? To, to cope with them. And you, if you'd have just sort of said to them, right? Go I'm annoyed now, up. right? I'm annoyed because you're Michael... a cotty girl. <laughs> right? You could have done right, it. Listen, listen to me. Let me get worked in. You'd have sorted them. No. that it will sweeten them up? Do you think they'll change their tactics now they know it's vote to win? Now they know that it's not about... Uh, when they know, sorry, that oh, it's vote to win. Not. Oh, I don't know. Do you think know. that'll change I don't know. What, what I, Honestly, in the House, Michael said to me, you're too diplomatic in the House, and I took that badly, because I always just thought, do you know what? I could say certain things, but I want to keep the peace. And there are certain things now I wish I could go back and I wish I could do. OK, so you because won't be hanging out Because I would have knocked them down after... hanging out with them. <laughs> No, I won't. No, I won't. But, but I you, wish you could you see the look in her eyes right did. now. I feel genuinely scared but, but for my this life. This is what I felt with you. I felt you didn't trust your own personality yeah, you're enough. Right. The fact that I wasn't you're, brave you, you know, enough. That you're a nice, down-to-earth girl, and if well, they're annoying you, they'll be annoying us at home as well. Terry, so get we'll in there and put I think them straight. We'll definitely talk about this more. Um, but now it's time to cross to Jamie in his telecommunications facility. Uh, it's actually based on an original design by Joseph Fritzl. Uh, Jamie. <laughs> I think it's, uh, yeah, he's actually left one of his daughters under the counter. Thank you, Alice. Uh, yep, so it's open forum tonight. There are three things to get you started, though. Are five do a doing a better job than four? Answer, of course, is yes. Two, is this a fix? And three, should we be having a vote to save in the summer rather than vote to evict? Let's hear what you've got to say. Jenny, who have we got on line two? We've got Mary from Glasgow, Jamie. Mary from Glasgow. Hello, Mary. Hello, Jamie. Hello, how are you doing there? From sunny Glasgow. Is it sunny? Think, sorry? It's, it's night time, but carry on. Well, hey, Alex, I don't know here. How would you know? Do you know what I mean? Anyhow, I think, um, is it a fix? No, it's no a fix. Not only this to realise that people like the things, you know what I mean? It's no a fix. And to say that there's something wrong with the voting system, that's rubbish. That's underestimating the British public, by the way. So, um, apart from that, um, Natalie, I think, didn't do yourself any favours. Do so, but do you think? Do you think? So you think actually, you know, more people genuinely wanted to save the twins than Natalie. I definitely. I mean, you say that, but she's so what? So is everybody at the best of times? You know what I mean? It's a game show. Hello. Do you know what I mean? Hello. 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 It's a game show. Brilliant. Thank, Thank you, Mary. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. We haven't got much time. We've got lots of calls. Lissa, who have we got on Just three? three now. It's Trudy from Boston. I'm sorry, you're not Lissa. You're Sarah. Shut your face. Trudy from Boston, Jamie. Trudy from Boston. Hello, Trudy. Hiya. Hi. What do you want is to say? Is there any chance Natalie can be put back in the house? Uh, is there any chance Natalie can be put back in the house? They always ask to get, get put back in the house. It's never going to happen, unfortunately. She oh, will it's be a real shame, because I really would like her to see her wipe the floor with those twins. I, I think I've seen that DVD, but thank you very much. Sarah, who have we got on the, the line one? Graham from Leatherhead. Oh, Graham from Leatherhead. Hi, hi Graham. Hi, Jamie. How's it going? It's really good. Yourself? Right, yeah, not too bad. I've got to say one thing. Channel 4 has done a fantastic job with Big Brother, with the viewing figures over the years. But I think Channel 5 can do even better. And do you know what, do you know what, I, uh, what I think? What? Are you, I, do, I, I don't, get, but you're going to tell listen, me. Jamie, get Graham and Ivy in the Big Brother house, and they're going to make fantastic viewing this summer. Who? Graham and Ivy make the ultimate reality TV couple will brace big. Don't know who they are, but they've just blown any chance of getting on any reality TV show. No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. All right, show your get face. Line three, like please. Who have we got? No, Sarah, who have we got? No, he's that been cut off. Him. Jenny, who have we got Jackie on two? Hi, Jackie from Hertfordshire. You don't want to go on, Big Brother, do you? Jackie, where are you? I'm here. Hello. I'm here. Hello. Hello, what do you want to say? I want to say that I'm fuming. I think it's been a fix. I can't believe the two went last night. I think we've got to definitely put it back to vote to save. OK, but the why... British, so... British public would definitely have wanted that. Sorry, did you say you think it's a fix? Yeah. But how? Why? Because I think Big Brother's counting the wrong way round. There's no way we would have voted them out. But it's not a fix, though, if they do that. But I, agree, I take your point, you think it should be a vote to evict in the summer, yeah? Definitely, yeah, definitely. OK, all right, thank you very much. That's the end of it now, that's the end.
Do not, do not call anymore because we won't be able to answer it. Is she still there? Hang up, Christ. Uh, yesterday, Alice met with Georgia, uh, but here's the dilemma. Where do you take Ireland's busiest model on a day out? Uh, Callum Best's already done that one. Think of something else. The thing that you don't know about me is that I'm really into my agriculture. And on my day off, I've come to my favourite place, the Milton Keynes Museum. And look who was waiting for me here, Georgia Salpa. We're going to have the best day ever, aren't we? Yeah, shit. What have I got myself into? Let's go. Let's do this. Hiya. 